how will you work with people with disabilities and their representatives to ensure that the national disability strategy is implemented? In other words, that national legislation and policy that is to do with people with disabilities is translated into something local that is believable and understandable and relevant to all of you here in the room. And what will you do to remove the barriers to inclusion that people with disabilities are experiencing so that they can ensure they have an experience of real equality in Carlo and Kilkenny? So basically, uh, the question is about national policy and legislation, and um, it was referred to several times um, during uh, the candidates' uh, replies beforehand, but to make those tangible at local level, and then what the barriers are that may militate against people with disabilities being able to access those services, goods, and indeed the promises. Uh, thank you very much, PJ, and for um, people with disabilities. The various points made, and I, and I noticed that the kind of the tone of the meeting is changing a little bit to be kind of well. The big bad government brought in all these cuts and, and uh, we didn't do anything and we have the great solution. The reality of it is, is that not only this government implemented cuts, because it did, but also Fianna Fáil and uh, Mr. Aylward over there voted for cuts and we had cuts and that's the reality. Now you can argue why that happened and I don't think this is the forum to do that. But, so I'm not, and, and I would ask the other candidates really not to get into the whole economic argument of who did what to whom. Um, because I don't, think that's what, I don't think that's what tonight is about, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, what, 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 what people want to know and why we're here tonight is how are we going to take or where we are and actually return services to, to the levels they should be. And one of the first things I want to say to you on that is, and, and it's something I've been involved in since I was elected five and a half years ago, is you have to start with the core issue of prejudice. There's still prejudice within our society. We still have people who treat people with disabilities as second class citizens. And one of the things I've loved in my own school with my own kids, is how normalised children with disabilities have become. Children with intellectual disabilities, children with physical disabilities. And I think it starts in the school, whereby, as my daughter said, Geoffrey had one of his turns today, and it was just Geoffrey being Geoffrey. Yeah. And it was normal. And so someone else fell down in the yard, and it was just normal. And that's where we need to get to. We need to get to how that is normal. And I think one of the things that I'm very proud of being as a public representative, and particularly when I was mayor, I held public town hall meetings. Meetings like this where people would come into the room and talk about their issues. Because too often there's a them and us. There's all these people who engage in this squabble, scoring points off each other, and you're almost excluded from the discussion. And what I want to say to you this evening is if I'm elected as your public representative, I will be there for that discussion in groups like this. And I will not be one of those people who will turn up every five years and tell you all the things I've done and ignore all the concerns you have. That's not what I, that's not, that hasn't been my, my form to date and I don't believe it will be my form for the future. The key thing from here, in my view, is to try and normalise it. It's also put ourselves on a sound economic footing so that we can actually have the money. Because we have made progress and I would agree with Mr. Aylward. Where we were 20 years ago and where we are today is significantly better. Significantly better. It's not perfect by any standard, but it's significantly better. And what we need to do is we need to stand, we need to find the funds to deliver at local level. And I've done that, as have others in this room, and others should take credit for that as well. In my view, where we're at this evening is a very open and honest discussion about the fact that cuts have hurt people with disabilities. And it's time we have now got, we have got good news nationally to say some of those cuts can be reversed and some of those opportunities that we missed in the last seven years can be taken. And it's about setting down the key priorities. And if I'm your public representative, I'm happy to sit down with you and work to build that list, to bring that discussion into the heart of government. Because whether, you, whether people like to admit it or not, the pragmatic side of, of politics is Unless you're in the heart of government, you cannot influence in any significant way the policy of that government. And I believe I am the candidate who will bring your message into the heart of government. I've proven that already. I've already shown an interest long before I ever found myself in this room. And I believe I'll be there for you in the years to come. Thank you.